You will have been sent an email or a message inviting you to join the Guitar Retreat Weekend. The message has a reminder of date and time, and a link to the Zoom meeting room. There may also be a short description of what will be covered during the course. Copy or click on the link to the Zoom meeting. Clicking the link will open your browser. If you have not already installed the Zoom client software then you should do this now. Click on the Download Now link and install the software as normal, following any instructions on your screen. Zoom should start automatically. If not, click on the Launch Meeting link. Now, type in your name and click on Join Meeting. Finally, click on Join with Video to enter the room. If this is the first time you have used Zoom, then you will see this dialog box before you enter the room. You can choose to ignore the options here, and just close the box, or click on one of the options. Don't worry, you can change these settings later. Choosing a join with computer audio will use your computer sound settings for the Zoom meeting. The other option allows you to test your audio setup. This is a good idea if this is your first visit. Click on the test speaker and microphone option. A ringtone sound will start immediately. If you can hear it, then click on the yes button to move to the next step. If not, choose a different option from the drop down menu and try again. Now to test your microphone, speak into your microphone and pause. Your voice will be repeated back to you. If not, choose a different option from the drop down menu and try again. Testing the microphone. When you can hear your voice played back, click on yes and then click on join with computer audio. You can save your settings for subsequent meetings by ticking the box in the bottom left of the dialog. Finally, click on Join with Computer Audio once again to enter the meeting room. Now that you have tested your speakers and your microphone, and they are both working, let's look at changing some of the settings to get better sounding audio for playing music. Let's maximize the screen view. Looking at the bottom left of your screen, you will see a microphone icon. Click on the arrow next to this and open the audio menu. This is a list of all the input and output devices which are connected to your computer. If you are using more than one set of speakers or more than one microphone, you can change them here. There is also the option to test your speakers and microphone as you did before. Testing microphone again. Okay, let's change some settings to improve the audio. Click on Audio Settings in the Audio menu. There are quite a few settings you can change, and there are a number of help files on the Zoom website that explain them. For now, make sure you are in the Audio Settings from the menu of the left of the dialog box. The first setting we will change is the Automatic Volume Control. Move to this section in the dialog box and remove the tick fro automatically adjust microphone volume. Now you have control over how loud or sensitive your microphone will be. You can also adjust your speaker volume here as well. Next, move to the suppress background noise section. If your surroundings are quiet, then you can choose low or leave it at auto. If you are in a noisier environment, then you can choose one of the other options. You may need to test this out and make further changes later. If in doubt, just leave it on auto. Now move to the music and professional audio option. This is the most important setting to make your audio sound better. Click on show in meeting option to turn on original sound. This will open another three further options. 
make sure that high fidelity music mode is selected. If you are using headphones, you can turn off echo cancellation. If not, just leave it on. Unless you are using a stereo microphone, you can ignore stereo audio. There are another couple of options you can change here if you want to. Close the dialog box and your new settings will be saved. You can go back and change these anytime you need to, and also increase or decrease the volume of your speakers and microphone. Returning to the main zoom screen, you will see a new option to turn original sound on or off. If you change your microphone, you will need to open the menu and apply the settings to it. You should always mute yourself when the teacher is teaching. Muting yourself also allows you to practice without disturbing others. If you have a question, then you can raise your hand and unmute yourself to ask the teacher. You can mute and unmute your microphone by clicking the microphone icon. You can also mute and unmute your camera by clicking the camera icon. That's the end of this tutorial on installing Zoom. If you have any questions or want to explore more features, then please go to the Zoom website at zoom.us. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you at a guitar retreat.